Fox News host and combat veteran Pete Hegseth has been nominated by President Donald Trump as pick for defense secretary, which seems to be a controversial choice. This has sparked debate given Hegseth's outspoken views on woke military leadership and lack of traditional defense experience. Known for its conservative stance on military and political issues, Pete's nomination is a bold move. When it comes to where Pete calls home, he lives in a luxurious 9,000 square foot mansion in Goodlettsville, Tennessee with his wife and kids. His custom built estate offers a gourmet chef's kitchen, a home theater, and a large master suite that occupies half of the second floor. His home also features an elevator, library, storm shelter, and much more. President-elect Donald Trump surprised Washington with his unexpected choice of a conservative commentator and TV host as the head of the Pentagon. Many thought that he would choose someone with a background in defense policy or government. So the selection of Fox News host and decorated Army veteran Pete Hegseth left many people shocked. But I mean surprises? were expected from Trump after his first term, but Pete's nomination it was still a shock. Pete's been vocal about his views on the military and recently criticized the US military's focus on diversity and inclusion, claiming it weakens the country's defenses. These ideologies, political correctness, made their way into the ranks and generals and leaders didn't stand up and say no, we should only be focused on readiness and meritocracy and lethality, he said in a recent Fox appearance. A Princeton graduate, Pete joined the Army National Guard in 2003 and served in Iraq and Afghanistan, earning two bronze stars. During Trump's first term, Pete played a big part in advocating for presidential pardons for US military personnel facing war crime charges. His relationship with Trump is also seen through his role as co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend, a show that Trump has often appeared on. And his previous role as CEO of Concerned Veterans for America, a conservative organization supported by Republican mega donor Charles Koch. Pete's also a devoted family man living in Goodlettsville, Tennessee, sharing a luxury 9,000 square foot mansion with his wife Jennifer Rochet and their blended family. Pete married Jennifer, a former TV producer and executive at Fox News in 2019. Their relationship began while Pete was still married to his previous wife, Samantha Deering, with whom he shares three children, Gunner, Boone, and Rex. Jennifer, who had a successful career at Fox News, left the network to focus on her family. She also has three children from her first marriage, Kenzie, Jackson, and Luke, and together, Pete and Jennifer welcomed their daughter, Gwen, in 2017, celebrating their marriage and Gwen's second birthday. The couple shares a lot of their home life on Instagram, which we can see is full of activities from sports coaching to outdoor adventures. On Father's Day in 2022, Jennifer shared a message for Pete praising his hands-on role as a father and calling him a dad that does it all, adding that his responsibilities range from basketball coach to RV repairman. It's said that Pete purchased his current family home in 2022 for over $3.4 million, and its value has increased since then. Located in Goodlettsville, Tennessee, the charming area is perfect for raising a family set just 15 miles from downtown Nashville. It's known for its welcoming small town feel and scenic landscapes, as well as being rich in history. Goodlettsville offers rolling hills, open spaces, and a friendly, close-knit community. Pete's family has stay here boasts everything from a home theater to an elevator and even a barn, making it both a space to entertain and to act as a functional retreat. The custom-built steel frame mansion spans over 8,800 square feet of space with four beds, seven baths, high-end amenities, and useful features. As you enter Pete's home, you'll be drawn to the soaring double height entryway and grand staircase. Nearby, there's the Gourmet Chef's Kitchen, which offers top-of-the-line commercial-grade appliances. Just off the kitchen, there's a newly built theater room where you can enjoy movies with friends and family, and I'm sure that Pete and Jennifer's kids love this part of the home. 
I mean, with a blended family that big, you definitely need a home theater. The master suite here occupies half the second floor and also offers a massive custom built closet measuring 17 by 12 feet. A convenient elevator gives easy access between floors while a library offers a cozy space for quiet reading or work. Pete's home has been designed with peace of mind, featuring a storm shelter for added security. There's also a sprawling unfinished basement covering 3,450 square feet, ready to be transformed into whatever space you want, whether it's a home gym, rec room, or anything else. Other features on the property include a swimming pool, a five car garage, offering plenty of room for vehicles and storage, as well as a 3,000 square foot barn with 12 foot porch, plus an additional two stall barn and other outbuildings. If that wasn't enough, there's an extra 1,000 square foot two bedroom, one bath home that was used as a farm office in the past, but it would make the perfect guest quarters for family or friends. It appears that President Trump's new pick, Pete Hegseth, is quite the all-American family man, but many aren't sold on him stepping into the role of defense secretary just yet. Either way, Pete will bring his military experience and conservative viewpoints, as well as that strong sense of family values and community to his new role. That'll wrap up today's house tour. Thanks for watching. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and we'll see you all in another video. Bye.